just like to run through a quick tour of the automation. So when the system is powered on, it runs through two complete cycles uh, to allow a visual check that all of the track sections and points are working as expected. Then it sits and waits for 15 minutes or thereabouts uh, and runs one or two sections in a repeating cycle. <coughs> it will also be triggered if a shadow passes over the layout, so this might be caused by somebody passing through the room. You see that the slope of the rising sections we have here is the outside limit of what works for N scale and we may need to smooth those out a little before we start building scenery. It can also be triggered by a button located in the layout. And if the button is pressed while the train is moving, um, then the train reverses direction and the cycle reverses its direction of rotation. If service should be interrupted and the train doesn't reach the station in the expected time, then the system powers off traction power and it waits for a train to appear at the station uh, before proceeding. It will proceed only if it sees exactly one train on the layout. won't run at night. It detects that there is no uh, no light in the room, very low light level in the room, and uh, it doesn't run at night.